In a previous video, I used this puff converter to power a dash cam using the OBD2 connector in the car. In this video, we're going to test the module, see how well it performs, and check the accuracy of the specification in the list. I'm using a constant current load generator. This test unit allows me to dynamically change the current and set a minimum voltage threshold. If the voltage drops below the threshold or the unit is not able to draw the specified current, it will start beeping and the run light will flash to indicate that there is an error condition. I'm configuring the minimum voltage to be 4.4 volts, which is the lower end of the USB specification. And I'm going to set the amperage to 1 amps. I'm going to set the voltage on my power supply to 12 volts and the current to 1.5 amps. So I'm going to turn on the power supply and then I'm going to turn on the load generator. As you can see, uh, I am pulling 1 amp from the circuit and the voltage is dropped down to 4.88 volt uh, on the power supply side. I'm putting out 12 volts and 0.48 amps. So as I increase the load, um, you can see me do it 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So I'm going to leave it running at this load for a few minutes and see how well the module performs. You can see that I'm putting out 12 volts and 0.99 amps on my volt, um, power supply. I'm going to leave the module running with a 2 amp load. Uh, I'm going to speed this video up. Uh, run, let it run for about 5 minutes and see how well it copes. It seems to work pretty well with the 2 amp load which matches the specification of 2 amp constant load. Now let's try and increase the amperage gradually to see whether it can reach its specified 3 amp maximum load. Okay, at 2.9 volts as you can see the voltage just drops to 0.45 volts. I'm guessing at this point the IC is getting extremely hot and is malfunctioning. So let's drop the amperage down and see at what point do we actually recover. So I'm gradually going down, I'm at 2.10 volt amps, still the voltage is too low, 1.9 is still too low. Let's gradually keep going and see at what point do we see it recover. Okay, there we go. At about 1.4 amps, it goes back to about 4.79 volts, which is a reasonable voltage within the USB specification. Now, let's gradually increase it again and see whether it can actually sustain the 2 amp we had sustained before. So, I'm increasing one tenth of an amp at a time. Take it up to 2, two amps and see whether I can actually have a sustained 2 amp output again. So at 1.9 it still seems to be steady. At 2 is still steady. So I'm going to try once again to take it above 2. Let's see. 2.10 is still okay. 2.2. Yeah, it's still okay at 2.2. Let's take it up to 2.3. Okay, 2.3 I'm still getting 4.6 volts, which is pretty reasonable. I'm gonna take it up to 2.4, and I'm guessing this is where it actually goes pear shaped at 2.4 ampere amperes. There you go. Yeah, you can see the run light flashing, which means that it's voltage is dropped below the threshold so again I think I'm gonna have to go all the way back to 1.4 volts to get the circuit performing so 
So in real life, what would happen is that the device that is plugged into this system would actually stop working and where applicable reboot and probably recover at a lower amperage. And in reality, as the uh, as far as the webcam is concerned, the maximum amperage is going to do is two amps in that at a peak. So I'm guessing this this module is perfectly fine for the role that I'm using it for. But on the other hand, it doesn't quite match the specification that's been given. Uh, in specific, it says that it should reach uh, a maximum current of 3 amps for a short period of time. I couldn't get it any anything above 2.4 amps. Um, but nevertheless, for the price, I think it's a pretty decent module. I think given the constraints, given the specification that uh, I have tested, it's still pretty usable. Uh, so if you have a use case for that, I think this probably is a pretty decent module. Thank you for watching. I plan to test a whole range of DC power supplies. If there is one that you would like me to test first, please drop a line in the comments. I'll do my best to try and do that first. Thank you again for watching. That is it for now.